All right. We apparently are live. Good morning, friends. Live from the hot Good morning. Oh, we have a Bethany. Okay. Yeah, you can see the pencils. It's in the very middle of the... All right. I and have to read. Light bulb is here and Neon. Hi, and Taylor says hola. Hola. Um, Legendary Gamer says hi. Hello. We have the Bonjour from HK Warlick. And Whit Corey says hello. <laughs> the Beatles are my favorite. I am going to reorganize these a little bit. Hello, everyone. For my own uh, personal hi. use. Everybody says hi. Hello. Well, we haven't been live in a while, so. Love all the Beatles coming so far. Thank you. Oh, Charlie had a tornado at their house yesterday. Oh, no. Hope you're okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go. We're going to add. Good morning. How are you feeling? They're talking about you. They're talking to you, honey. Did you tell everybody? I told everybody that you were sick. Um, I'm better. I'm tired, but I'm better. Oh. Father's Chapel says blessings from Lakeland, Florida. Oh, thank um, you. Question about an affordable pencil set. Hold on. Your comments are populating so fast. Uh, they want to know what your most, your favorite affordable pencil set is. Um, affordable would probably be um, the Artex ones. I did a video on them, and they are pretty cheap. And they and you get s how many did you get? Seventy two. They were twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah, so it's half the price. And mm -hmm. if you're comparing price, I would definitely say that that is better for the price. Right. Are the Beatles your favorite music band? They, they're they're up there. They're definitely up there. I think I'm gonna add this mm -hmm. one have here. Have you tried the Colleen color pencils? Hey, David's here. Hey, David. No, I have not. My dad loves the Beatles. Hmm. This is a pretty good brown. Uh oh. Lemon Chaco's dog just stole their gingerbread house and ate it. Oh, that. Oh. Dog. So far, what is the best color pencil for quality? Well, I've always used um, Prismacolor. Here's here's the thing, and 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 I'll I'll do a a video on this at some point. But if you're an artist and you want to get into making art, colored pencils are probably the most expensive way to get into art. They're really not cheap. Yeah, we were talking about this yesterday. And Scott just kind of like out of the blue said, these are not the cheapest way to go. Yeah. And I said, really elaborate on that. And he said, well, if I buy a tube of paint and it's $8, I can mix different colors and stuff. With colored pencils, you only get what you get in the set. Yeah. So it might not be the most cost effective medium. Now, we're not saying it doesn't have to be your favorite medium. We're just saying it was something we were kicking around as a thought. Okay, so I just reorganized that, and I never hit record. Okay. Oh, jeez. So I will have to use whatever I can from the live. Yeah, I, I would recommend, I think making art got so much cheaper for me when I switched over to watercolors. Because I will have a tube of paint, and I'm making art every single day. And I'll have a tube of paint that'll last me a year. Whereas there's no way I'll have a colored pencil that'll last me a week. And that's $3 every time you have to replace a colored pencil. All right, so I only have... Um, I have some Derwent colored pencils I could give him, but no, he does not have Derwent right here. What's your favorite Beatles song? Uh, either Blackbird or uh, Day in the Life. Did you like that movie yesterday? Uh, you know what I liked better than yet? I mean, it wasn't a bad movie at all. 
Um, what I liked better than yesterday was uh, Across the Universe. But I also, as a kid, I used to love uh, Sgt. Pepper with uh, the Bee Gees. Gosh, we have friends here from Vietnam, New Zealand. Welcome, everybody. We've got friends here from everywhere. So um, these are the most expensive colored pencils I've ever used. These are made by Karen Dosh. They're Swiss made. Mm -hmm. And you only get 20 for $50, which makes them... Too expensive. Yeah. Like... Two dollars two change, two fifty a pencil. Two fifty a pencil. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind that we have had friends say that the pencils are cheaper in their own country. Now, if you're from Switzerland and they make these pencils in Switzerland, obviously something that they have to import is going to be more expensive than something that they make in That's their own true. country. That's true. That's true. And so, and I've heard that that. Uh, Prismacolors, which Prismacolors are expensive here, but I've heard the Prismacolors are more expensive overseas. Correct. But, Hi, Santa. Hey, Santa's here. Yep. Welcome back to the live stream. Happy New Year and Merry 11th Day of Christmas. Oh. Oh, Santa. I hope you are getting lots of rest after an incredibly busy season. Yeah. Another successful Christmas. In the books. Yeah, it went from 20 people to 476 in like a minute. I know. Um, Emmett is here. Hello, Emmett. How are you doing, Emmett? Hope you're doing all right. We have an Emma. So this isn't how I would normally do colored pencils, but I only have so many colors. So I'm just going to wing it. And if I have to, I'll pull out the... Um, the markers, but for now, I'm just trying to find the lights and the shadows and see if I can kind of get a little bit of skin tones in here. Um, Ezon is asking, what's the best way to blend colors? Which is a good question. Yeah, if you're using colored pencils, pressure. Just pushing down hard is the best way. Um, but it helps to use a lighter color to help blend it. And if you don't have a lot of those colors, that's the problem I was having with the uh, fabric castles yesterday was I didn't have enough colors. Um, so I had to, I had to use the, um, the alcohol markers. Um, somebody asked about the Ohuhus. We're still waiting on those to come in, but we've been in touch with the company and they saw our video on well, Scott's video on the paper, marker paper, and they are sending a couple of pads of marker paper as well as the markers. Yes, because a lot of you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And they were watching the chat. So. I also ordered from Blick. I ordered the uh, the render, R-E-N-D-R -E paper that a lot of you recommended as well. So I'm going to try that too. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, if, we, if a company is willing to send us something to try, Fantastic. For the most part, I have to buy this stuff myself. This was $200 worth of colored pencils we spent. We did. But we were cheap. We bought them on Black Friday. No, no, no. These were not on sale. I thought they were. No, pencils. no. You're thinking of the uh, the pen. What were those? The Poscas. The pencils weren't on sale? No. Oh. Um, how did you get started with art? Oh, my mom is an artist uh and then my my uncles were artists too so it was kind of just in the in the area in the in the ether somewhere and um and then when i you know got into high school i took an art class and um and then when it came time to pick a, a college <laughs> it just i was like well i'm not good at anything else so that's what, we, what i picked and we have Blick Art Materials in the chat saying hi, everyone. Hey, Blick is here. Good morning and happy new year. Blick, these are the most expensive pencils I've ever tried. The Karen Dosh. 
Well, you better not break the legs or I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I'm That's being very gentle are. with them. And then everybody, tomorrow I'm going to be trying Blick's own brand, which fortunately um, I get 72 colors. I am going to have to do a little rearranging of this, though, Blick. Um, <laughs> just letting you know. Gee, there's a surprise. I really didn't have to do anything for Fabricastle, though. Does anyone, do you have another job? Um, yes, yes. Uh, I haven't had much work in it lately, and this has been filling in that gap really well. But my job before this was I, I wrote and directed, and Donna was the producer of an animated feature film mm -hmm. called Animal Crackers, which you can see on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Correct. And that was our job for four years. Um, they want to know um, if you're using photo reference, and can you show the photo reference? Oh, absolutely. Do you see that okay? Yeah, we can see it great. Okay. That's good old Paul McCartney. Looks like young picture. Yeah. That was from 1970. Um I was two. Oh my god. I was one. Um we're not gonna go there. Okay. So um oh I'm sorry. Sage lost their dog. I'm so oh. sorry. Last Wednesday. Uh, we have an Ellen. Ellen is here. Hello, Ellen. Um, Donna is feeling better. I am still very tired, um, but I'm feeling better. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your patience and letting her heal up. Yeah, thanks, guys. We missed seeing you all. We did indeed. Um, we're not going to answer who's the best Beatle because that's incredibly subjective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you like Prisma colors more than the other brands? Uh, well, I have 40 years of playing around with Prismacolors, yeah, so it's not, it's, it's not a fair thing, but... Um, but you are trying these, and you are trying them in your style, and you're giving them a good go. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, for the for the cost, I don't think any of them are going to be too bad. Um, like I said, even the Artex ones that are $20-something dollars for $72 um, did okay. I think I drew... Um, um, who was Black, Black Panther? Oh, um, the, the, oh, Jesus, his name, I don't know. I can't remember his name. So, uh, I drew him. Yeah. Oh, T'Challa. Yeah, um, no, but his, his, yeah, anyway. Yeah, no, we know. Chadwick Boseman, thank Chadwick you. Chadwick Boseman, thank you. So, I drew Chadwick Boseman in them, and they did pretty good. They didn't blend as well as the... Uh, Prisma colors, but uh, you know, again, for half the price, it was not bad. But uh, again, if I if I'm just being perfectly honest, which I always try to be, um, I, you know, I, and I spent, like I said, I, I I got into the Society of Illustrators as a colored pencil artist. I mean, I I did you know several book covers and, and comic covers and, and video game covers. And I had a lot of work for, you know, decades doing colored pencils. I was at the top of the game in colored pencils and looking back, I'm saying they're so expensive and they're so tedious compared to paints. So I, I think they're great if you're just learning and you just kind of want to learn some color, but I don't see them as being a great long-term career kind of thing and, and they're very expensive okay um oh boy so many questions okay for any questions that you have regarding i've seen a few of you that have had questions regarding hair go to the um art hacks playlist and scott will have a videos on hair and facial structure and facial features and eyes and ears and mouths and lips and all that kind of good stuff so try there first um, he did, um, we did do Van Gogh in 60 days of studying the masters and he, yeah, day one and he did Van Gogh, um, in Crayola crayons. Oh, that's right. I did. Um, and, um, so many people have been against his art over the years. We can't even begin to tell you where to start with that one. It, what was anyone ever severely against your art? Yeah. People have always been against. Um, you know, look, you know, no one has ever, ever, like, you know, done a crusade against my art or anything like that. It's, yeah. You know, no one cared enough. Um, but I, I, I tried to get. If you look at the video of me doing Spider Man, the comic, 
Um, I spent 15 years getting rejected and rejected, rejected with my art. And I never did get the job with my art. I got it doing 3D. It had to be on the computer. And so, um, you know, I, I just kept getting told you're just not good enough or you just, you know, we're not looking for the style. And art, art is subjective. Just remember that. You know what? I'm going to be smudging poor Ringo. I'm going to put this here. Um, okay. Um, what was your favorite phase during your times as a younger artist? My favorite phase. Um, gosh. I don't know. I guess the comic book cover phase was fun. Um, are alcohol markers good for art? Um, they are for temporary, you know, again, if you're just learning, they don't have much a, of a lifespan. Oh, yeah, they, their light fastness is not that great. So if you work in markers, even Copics, they might last 10 years. If you're lucky, maybe 20, and then they start to fade. Uh, and that, that also depends on where, where they're displayed, how they're framed, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, whereas paints, um, good paints will last hundreds of years. What's the difference between gouache and poster colors? And also, which gouache do you prefer? I, I like Winsor & Newton for most, you know, most of my brands. I like Winsor & Newton. Um, poster colors, I, I my friend Justin D uh, Donaldson sh let me try some, and he uses them. And I think they're really cool. And I want to try them, but I just haven't had a chance to get them out. But I think they're very, very similar. Have you ever used a watercolor block? If so, what, do you, what are your thoughts on I don't know if a water if I know what a watercolor block Are you is. Are talking about like watercolor pans, like the little trays of watercolors? Yeah, those I use for my travel set. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to sharpen this. Uh oh. That was ten cents right there. <laughs> Did you try painting on regular bond paper? No, because it won't hold paint. Well, Blake says we're excited to see what you can do with our pencils. Oh, I am too. Should you blend B pencils? My teacher said it made art look sloppy and messy, but I thought that B pencils were meant to be blended. B pencils are soft and they're really good to be blended. Um, I, I, when I draw in, in pencil, and, and if you look up, there's a video I did on drawing, I think it's, it's realism or something, or realistic or something. Um, if you look that up, you'll see that uh, I used a number two pencil. Uh, I very rarely go over a number two pencil, um, which is an HB. But if you watch uh, people who do black and white art, you know, with graphite, they're going to use the softer pencils and they're going to blend. Usually I would use a blending stick if you can. Do you consider watercolor pencils to be a good medium for beginners? I bought some and I'm trying to find some good tips for them. I think they're good. The, the reason why I never got into watercolor pencils is because at the end of the day, you're still breaking out the watercolor brush and the paint and, and, and water. So at the end of the day, you wind up doing watercolor paint painting. And so it feels like an extra step that you didn't need to take. Uh, but they're fun. I mean, I have a bunch and I like to draw with them. Like I, I like the feel of them to just sketch, but um, there's nothing wrong with them. Is and it I've, good to use highlighter in drawings? There's nothing wrong with it. Do you like being an artist? I do. I do. Um, yeah, the giveaway is over. I don't know what giveaway you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about the art supply giveaway. Okay. Since I have been sick i have not had time to organize anything so it's more likely going to happen at the end of the month for the art supply giveaway um i just need some time to regroup and get 100 percent. i actually woke up really tired this morning and tried to do some things yesterday and uh i just need to to regroup so we are definitely going to do it we'll do it at the end of the month yeah plus next week is our 30th anniversary or 30th wedding anniversary oh, correct. Yeah. Um, are the Beatles your favorite band? They're definitely one of them. Um, who's your favorite singer? Oh, gosh. Seal, believe it or not. 
Scott does not do lessons, but there's a ton of information in the yeah. Art Hacks playlist. Please understand, I don't consider myself a teacher in any way. Um, I, I, I'm learning along with you all. Can you tell us how to use the watercolor pencils? Uh, do a video on I did do pencils? a video on them, yeah. Yeah. Um, they want to know where you get your watercolor journal. The watercolor journal that I use is... Like the travel journal, maybe? Yeah. Everything. What on earth is that pile? Uh, you guys, if you could see this, he's a ginormous pile on the floor. Grandma came down while Logan was playing games with me. Oh, he threw everything, every everything everywhere. Seriously, guys, the pile is like three feet wide and six. So this is the one I use. I like the best. Is the Be Creative, and the paper is just. You can, you can, can you see both sides of this? Yes, you can now. Okay, so yeah, you, you can paint on both sides. It, re, it You can see it's, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really good. It's my favorite paper. Yeah, we still have not heard back from them if they are where the... I buy it. I buy them from, from Blick, mm -hmm. but um, they're constantly, constantly out of stock. And uh, so we're trying to see if... Blick, if you're still here, if you guys could reach out to them and just say, hey, we wanna yeah, we, we want more of them. The creatives are they said that they were doing they were making them and I reached out to them directly at the end of last year. Actually, I think it was like this early December, late November. And they said that they were working on getting them back in, but I don't know if it was a supply chain issue or what. So all right, let's um, see how the black is. Ready? And this is the first time going really hard over something. That is not bad. Um, what tips do you want if you don't have colored pencil? What are you using instead of colored pencils? Um, you need to give me a little more than some tips for somebody who doesn't have colored pencils. I mean, paper and pencil, I did a video on that. And yeah. those are the so best. Number two, pencil. number two pencil and any kind of paper will work. How do you know Joel Haver, the comedian? Um, I don't think I do. I don't know that you do. Do you like the Faber Castle color pencils? Uh, the Faber Castles were okay. Again, I didn't have enough colors to work with, so it's hard to make that. That I liked. What I did like is that not once did they crack. I did like that. I'm so used to the Prisma colors, just you know, you put the snap, snap, snap. Yeah, they They're so they hard, hard, very hard. Okay, I'm gonna try the white. All right, not bad. How's your day so far? And what's your favorite Beatles song? Uh, day so far is going good. And favorite Beatles song would be uh, either Blackbird or um, Day in the Life. Wait, call me Joe. Is that Scotty? Hey, Scotty, how are you doing? Is that you? Oh my God, friends. That's our friend in Australia. Oh, Blick says we'll reach out to the category buyers and see what we can find out. Oh, oh that would thank be wonderful. You. Thank you because, because I. Us as individuals can't do. I bought a whole bunch uh, from you. I bought like 12, I think, from, you, from you, Blick. Yeah. And then, so I'm good for a while, but. I, I we keep telling everybody we've been recommending is, them and, and people can't find them. They're having a hard time finding them. Do we have any New Year's resolutions? I don't. I've no, I mean I, I kind of um like to make my resolutions on a day by day basis as I if I see something that needs to be fixed, but um I think it's good to do those things. I mean, what doesn't need to be fixed with you? I'm just saying. She's anyway, just saying. I'm just saying. Favorite Australian animal, and have you ever drawn the Beatles as Beatles? Oh, well. Oh, no, Australia. I haven't. That's funny. Um, That's actually funny. I guess a dingo. No. A dingo. I know what you said, but <laughs> please don't try to do that accent again. Good Lord. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 um, I know they're not Australian, but I still love the quokkas. Are they close enough to Australia to be? I personally like um, koala bears. I mean, what's not to like about a koala bear? I'm sure the 
Australians will tell you all the reasons why not. Yeah. I've heard a lot of bad things about koalas. I've heard a lot of bad things about red pandas, and here we are. Obsessed. In love with them. All right. You know what? I will say this. So far, the Karen Dosh are blending very well. Are they soft? Or they, they, they seem like they're they're a cross between Prismacolor and um, the Fabric Castle. Okay, then. Um, let's see. I think the jury is still out on what his favorite ones are yet. He tried the classic uh, Fabric Castle ones yesterday. If you haven't seen the video, yeah. it, I posted it yesterday. Can you do a longer tutorial on how to use colored pencils? I just started using them and can't find a video for just starting out. Um, I did do a video. Uh, I think I drew um, uh, Robin Williams as uh, Peter Pan in that one, if you want to look at that. I don't do longer videos, honestly. Yeah, he's got the about the attention span of a flea. So. Yeah, this is this is as long as you're ever gonna hear me talking. Yeah. And I don't think I can um, keep anybody's attention that long. Um, who's the biggest inspiration for you as a young artist? Uh, my mom. Let's see. A couple of people have tagged you on things that they've done on YouTube. If you tag Scott on YouTube. He will try to yes. see your things. I am he looking is, and I and I hopefully I will see yeah, them. He's trying, you guys. There's just so many of you now that um, it's very hard and sometimes we do miss things and we're sorry about that, but we are trying our best. Um, the best way to make sure we see something really is the Discord, honestly. Um, there's a special four stop section there and he goes through that and checks that. All right. Um, I think I'm going to keep some of these pencils out here. And as far as New Year's resolutions go, I don't do resolutions either, but I do goals for the year. Um, so that was about six or seven when we started drawing. Rose Winter says, all you need is a pencil and a dream. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Have you used the Koei Noir pencils? If yes, what I have about? not. The only pencils I have tried for colored pencils. Mm -hmm are the ones you've seen in these videos. Um, Prismacolor, uh, Fabricastle, which I tried for the first time yesterday, and um, uh, Karen Dosh, which I'm trying today. Uh, tomorrow I will try the Blick, and then uh, I have tried the uh, the Art uh, the Artex ones, which were actually really good for the price. I have a couple of Koei Noir pencils. I can... Uh from when I was getting the CW pencil box. Okay. So I can bring those down for you. You can try flipping those. So I'm running into that, uh, I really need kind of a, a lighter flesh color rather than just this pink. Yeah. So are they blending well? They're blending well, but again, I'm running into that. These are not the colors I'm looking for, you know? These aren't the colors that you're looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let's see. I'm a big fan of Beetlejuice music, and I was wondering if you would consider drawing Alex Brightman as Beetlejuice. Alex Brightman as Beetlejuice. I mean, I know Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, we're not going to pick a favorite Beetle, guys. Stop asking. Ah. That's that's not fair. I mean, you guys can have a favorite Beetle. We're not picking. Gideon says good morning. Good morning. Did we find out if that was Scotty? Uh, it is not. Oh, okay. Um, what are you using the brush for? Oh, the brush is just to kind of get rid of some of the, the pencil. Sometimes just get like little pencil shavings. Yeah, little schmutz comes off the end of the pencils. So that's a technical term, schmutz. Um, in case you were wondering. Hello from Pakistan. Hello. Uh, what's your favorite color pencil set? Uh, it's always been Prismacolor, uh, but um, it's hard because I'm not really getting a full <coughs> test of, uh, I mean, I have hundreds of Prismacolor pencils and the set came with 72, um, whereas this is only 20 colors. And so it's not a real good test because I'm trying to blend colors that just really don't work well. 
but it feels really nice. Like so far, the this one has a very nice feel to it, and so far they haven't broken yet either. You like not breaking. I do like not breaking. Mm -hmm. See, it draws. See, you tip and says, "Love your channel." You're thank you. Brought me back into drawing after a massive art block. Looking forward to your next projects. Oh, thank you. We are looking forward to our next projects as well. Believe me. And I forgot to tell you, the um, person who asked about drawing the beetles, the actual beetles, um, gave you a tip as well. Oh, um, thank you. Angeles. So I apologize. I did not uh, did that see that. Um, what color pencils do you use? Okay, Scott's favorite in the stuff that he uses all the time and the stuff that we have a massive back stock on are the Prisma colors. Will you continue your travel journey? Yes, yes. Um, uh, hopefully 2023, we'll see us. I'd like to... Oh my God, it's 2023. Yeah. I'd like to take Donna to Scotland. We've never been. And being it's our 30th anniversary, that's something I'd like to do. We both really want to go there, but January is not a good time. To yeah. Go to we didn't think going to Scotland in January <laughs> was, a, was a good thing for our anniversary. Yeah. Family members love your videos. Oh, thank you, and and thank them for me. Um, Lee well, comes to Romania. We would love to come yes. to Romania. Um, we need to go to Prague um, to see the Muka Museum, and you're very close. Um, I am not an artist, but I do journal. Um, mine is more writing. Oh my God, you guys! Can I just tell them about the inks? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my yeah. God. Okay, so I asked for. I know it's going to sound silly, but. For Christmas, I asked for this ink advent calendar, and there's I have 24 little tiny bottles of ink that I get to try with my glass dip pen. And you guys, like I was looking at the inks yesterday, and I showed Logan. I said, "Hey, look! I pulled all the inks out of the advent calendar finally." And he looks at him and he goes, "Oh boy." <laughs> You're going to be busy for a while. And I said, "I know, right? I'm so excited." Anyway. So there you go. Um, no, we've never been to Germany, but we need to go. Um, yes, the DME um, ink bed calendar. I know, that's the one I got. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't even, so excited. Um, what was your biggest art block? Oh, uh, it, was, it, was like it was 10 years, years long. Yeah. And uh, it was between 2000 and 2010. And I just, I did all digital stuff. I was doing CGI and I just could not, I didn't want to go back to colored pencils. I had just, I, I colored penciled out. And, uh, and so I did the, the CGI thing for a while. I missed drawing, but I just didn't like anything I was drawing. And so um, I wound up. Boy, that really does. They're not blending right. They're blending fine. It's just the that that was a there. that was a like a oh. like a charcoal gray that I really shouldn't put into someone's skin. But I'm just trying to find the right colors to so to you use. Have to buy a bigger set with more colors is what you're saying. Yeah, more yeah. So I'm gonna come in with the white, but it's gonna really really make it look pasty. Mm -hmm. Scott did not like the Crayola colored pencils, though. That's for sure. And I do believe those were one of the ones that tore up the paper. Yeah, the Crayola pencils I did try to. And... They're very hard. I mean, look, they're they're great for what they are, you know? Um, they're good for beginners, you know, and, and kids, little kids. But I don't, I mean, I wouldn't use them. Summer or winter? Winter. Summer. Which you can tell opposites, right? Um you said you did not have any New Year's resolutions. No, not really. Favorite subject to draw, animals, buildings, people. People. Favorite medium to mix with your colored pencils. Alcohol markers. Um, Zaturo is ordering alcohol markers soon. How do I use the right colorings for skin tones? Oh, you just, you know, skin tones could be so many different things. So it really, it depends on the, the, the color of the skin of the person that you're doing. It depends on the type of style that you want to do. Look at Van Gogh's skin tones. There's yellows and oranges and greens. And so really you, it just depends on your style. What was the funniest request slash commission you ever received? The funniest? I did have one that popped into my head and it was. That was not the funniest. That was not the funniest. <laughs> mm 
Uh, that was the, the weirdest. Yes, that was definitely the weirdest. Um, but um, I don't know if I've had a funniest one. Um, what, what, what paper are you using right now? Bristol board. Strathmore's Bristol, Bristol paper. Okay. Um, what's the biggest difference between the Prismacolors and the Faber-Castell pencils? Uh, uh, the Faber-Castells are made of uh, like a, an oil, and uh, the, the Prismacolors are made of a wax. The Faber-Castells are hard. Really? And the, They're made of oils. Yeah, and the, and the, winds, and the, the Prismacolors are very soft, and they break very easily. Okay, Sheila Baby wants to know how many art supplies do you have? Uh, too many, but there is a video on on a, where I show you all of the art supplies that I had. Now, of course, that was a few months ago, and I definitely have some more thanks to Blick and Crayola. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamie Brown is here. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. I would like to know how are you liking these colored pencils? I like them a lot. I, I as as always, I wish I had a couple more colors to play with, but um, for the most part, not bad. I, I like the way that they're blending, and I like that they're not breaking. But you just need more colors. I need more colors. What's the best pencil you've ever used? I really want to know. My favorite pencil to draw with is the uh, Black Cherry Prismacolor pencil. Uh, yes. We do sell his art. We do ship it worldwide. And there's a link in on the website to our store. Hey, Lula's here. She says, good morning, friends. Hope you all had a wonderful break. And Hi, Lula. Wednesday. How are you, Lula? I had a cup of your Scottish breakfast tea yesterday. Why don't you prefer Posca markers? Why don't I? Mm -hmm. um, I think Posca markers are fun. I What I don't like about them is... The fact that uh, they don't have a variable tip, so the it's not a soft tip thing. So you just you only get one line, and I like to have a variable line. Um, so if you see, I can go thin to thick here with with the alcohol markers. I could do that also with the Artex uh, uh, acrylic markers. So I do like that. Uh, regarding the Posca pens, I do like how opaque they are. And so I could see a use for them in some situations and, and I will use them from time to time, but so far they just, um, there's not much use in my art. Exactly. And they do work. Do you do wash painting? I don't know. I don't know what wash painting is. Yeah. I want to get into CGI. Do you need to be good at drawing for that? No, no. Um, if you want to, I was an animator. I wasn't a good uh, modeler. Um, so uh, for animation, all you need to do is be a good actor. Okay. Uh, you'll, you know, you'll obviously need to learn the tools, but you, you need to be a good actor. Uh, yeah, well, you, you're going to be given a scene and then you have to come up with how that character reacts in the scene and how they move and the subtleties and, and everything else. Um, so that's really what you're looking for. And then uh, if you want to be a modeler, you should be a good sculptor. <clears throat> I don't even know if you could tell what your favorite stencil is. You have so many stencils. Yeah, I'm sure there's some that I use more than others. Yeah. Uh, Shrimi says, the funny thing is I watched Animal Crackers with my little brother a while ago. Same time as I was watching you, but I only discovered you created it not too long ago. I don't oh, really miss that. That's funny. That's funny. Um, least favorite art medium. I'm going to go with still acrylic. No, no, I'd rather do acrylic than uh, those darn um, uh, oil pastels. <laughs> you oil pastels have moved up to the top range. Yeah. I don't like them. That's great. I think that's so funny. Um, alcohol markers with pencils are my favorite. I'm making perfect thank you. Thank you for commenting on their video. Um, Leona says, you inspire me to move on in art when I mess up. I think of you. You're an amazing human being. Carry on. Oh, it's very nice of you. Thank you. Look, honey, you've screwed up so many times. Leona doesn't feel bad messing up. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, 
That is my specialty is failing spectacularly publicly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. You guys are so funny. Yeah, if you ever look at my most popular videos, it's usually the ones where something bad happens. Yeah. And, and I'm so totally funny. okay with that. It's so funny though. It cracks me up that people just love that. It makes me laugh. Oh my God. Well, this is why I say I, 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 I would not make a good teacher um i i don't speak with confidence or authority or anything like that because i'm just learning to and you speak from the heart though yeah and that's the difference and you you're you are wanting to try new things and wanting to do new things and when you screw up like oh let's say when you spilled ink all over the hair journal piece um that clearly i have ptsd from um you picked it up and you just made a beautiful piece of art out of it and you, you fudged around with it and noodled it long enough, and it came out great. Yeah, we tried. Well, but you're not afraid to, like, noodle it and fix it and stuff. And I think that's, I don't know. Everybody's going to mess up in life. That, and, and I think you just, you do it more gracefully because you're like, well, look at that. I messed up again. Let's see what we can make out of this. And you do that. And it's, it's, very, it's a very positive attitude to have, in my humble opinion. Um, let's see. Do you know a small sketchbook for a pencil that can fit in a pocket? Uh, oh, do we ever? You know, I, I picked up the sketch wallet mm -hmm. and, and I really like it. Yeah. I got mine, uh, in, you know, with the tan paper. No, 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 no. But yeah, I, I, uh, I would definitely recommend, uh, checking out the sketch wallet. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. They have them in fabric and in leather, and they have them in different sizes. So you can get so you all, yeah, you get a little pencil, yeah. and and I actually picked up like a little ballpoint pen. Yeah, a little tiny fold-up ballpoint pen to go in there. Yeah, so that'll keep you drawing all the time. Um, let's see, how many transition colors do you use? Well, if I'm doing watercolor, I only have twelve colors total that I use, but. With colored pencils, you have to use so many different transition colors. Um, problem is this this set only comes with 20 colors. So I, I've never used it before. I'm trying to figure it out and I'm trying to make do with missing a whole bunch of transition colors. So I, I, I'm gonna show you when I, I'm gonna hit pause here, when I do Prisma colors. These are all of the colors that are similar that I use. Like these are two different colors. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then we I can, use. We can see the difference. This is a different color. Okay, that is not a different color. It than is the one next to it. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. This is one zero zero two. This is one zero zero one. They're different colors, and, okay, and this is look, they, they don't this look. is how I get. The skin the tones. the skin tones and the subtleties and and um, this is just here's some pinks. Let me oh, see no. if this is the same. Okay, those two look exactly alike to me. No, these are okay. Um, I have this pink, and then I oh, have this lavender, and then um, let's see. So do you see what I'm saying? So I have so much more to work with and that's just for this range. Then if I go into the browns, I've got a whole bunch of different browns and I've got different, you know, so this I have pink, you know, the, well, these are the three colors that I have you, again, cause this is the set that right. they set, you but I'm saying yourself to $50. So yeah. what you could buy, what he could buy with the $50 set and he probably did that so I wouldn't kill him, was um, he was only able to get 20 pencils of the Karandash for that kind of money. So they are more, a little more expensive. From where we live, they might be cheaper where you are. Yeah. Um, I thought about giving Donna a microphone. Oh, no, no. Yolanda. We did that once. I had like this yeah. little headset and everything, yeah. and she just overpowers everything. Yeah. It's, it's just who I, am. I literally have to wear headphones in the house because she's so loud. Sometimes you do. I'm surprised you don't wear them off around with the kids' home. 
The kids aren't as loud as you. Oh my God, the kids are louder than me. No. If you had to choose a single medium to use for the rest of your career, not for casual drawing, what would you pick and why? Watercolors and ink. How many hours a day do you draw? Um, probably about two. I mean, I, I, you know, I spend a lot of time editing and then, you know, I have other jobs, you know, like I'm working on a couple other films. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I only get to spend, you know, okay. an hour or two. Any tips for someone wanting to go professional? Also, I wanted to tell you, um, me and my friends are huge fans of you. In fact, they drew Octavia in an art style. Your videos make me extremely happy. Oh, thank you. Um, it, it depends on what you want to do professionally. There's video games, there's comic book art, there's animation, yeah. there's graphic design, there's, there's, you know, going on YouTube, you know, I mean, there's, there's so many different career choices. You have so much more options than I did when I, you know, graduated college in 1991. And I had so many more options than my uncles did, you know, when they graduated in like 1950. So uh, really? you you have a lot of possibilities, a lot of options. So you, you really kind of have to figure out what you want to do, or at least explain it to me. Um, looks like you need to go to Switzerland to get more. Yeah. How many hours a day do you draw? You just asked that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, about two. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Um, go you know, all things considered, even though these are less colors than um, than the fabric castle, I am enjoying these more because they blend. I honestly, I, I there's it's it is a it. It feels like the best of Prismacolor and the um, Fabricastle. It's got the hardness of the Fabricastle, but the softness of the Prismacolor. It's really weird. Um, would you use charcoal or graphite again? Uh, I would use charcoal or graphite if I was to go do figure drawing. For me, that's always been the thing is figure drawing for, for charcoal. Graphite, I do from time to time. And um, I think it's fun. Uh, what would be your art motto? Um, gosh. For, for young artists, it'd be draw everything every day. Uh, God, I don't know. Do I have an art motto? I just think it's the draw everything every day. Yeah. Are you single? Um, no. Our... our uh, 30 year anniversary is on Tuesday. We were close. We were close this week, but <laughs> to not to me being single. <laughs> but uh, uh, we were close to me being single and you being dead. Uh, but that's that's married life. That's pretty much every day. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to add your signature red tip to the nose? I probably will a little bit, but I don't have the range that I normally do, so I don't know. His wife asking, are you single, LMAO? Hey, you guys are asking. I figured I'd let him answer the question. I'm curious to see how he's going to answer. At least we're past the uh, that point of her turning to me and going, well, are you? <laughs> <laughs> in the Do dramatic you, way answer it? this correctly <laughs> or it's curtains oh my God. <laughs> <clears throat> um, we can't play any uh, Beatles music right now because uh, it's copyright yeah I'm surprised that YouTube let me play the little clip of uh, uh, here comes the sun in the video where they sent me the thing so are you related to Stanley boy do we wish no, I, I, you know, um, I've worked with his in-laws, so that's as close as I got to him. So I know Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. Are you a science buff? Not really. I love science fiction and I love advances in science, but I don't, I'm, our son is the smart one. Oh my God. He was telling me this. He was drawing um, equations for me yesterday, which of course I let him do for 30 minutes. 
He was very cute. He's such a nerd, though. Oh my God, I love him. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a dog outside, honey. A dog outside? Our dog is barking outside, or is she on the porch? She must be on the porch because okay. I, she was in when I. Okay. Yeah. If, if Grandma let her out, I can't do anything about that. Okay, I'm adding some red to the face. See if it warms it up. Any tips on keeping your lines straight without a ruler? Um, no, that's just uh, when I do. Oh, okay. When I do a straight line, oh, did freehand. You again? Yeah, thank okay. you. Um, I rest my hand, and I'm just using these fingers doing this, so I can do this. That's, that's you rest your hand. That's because that's how I'm doing. It. So, I'm, but if I was to hold my hand up it would be a lot shakier. Yeah. So it's resting the hand does that. But again, there's no reason for you not to use a ruler. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to use a ruler. Use rulers anytime you need to. They're tools, you guys, like everything else. Okay, so um, Joe John, can you try Indian art supplies? The same way that it's hard for you to get um, art supplies that we have sometimes, it's hard for us to get art supplies that you use. So we are trying to get as many different things that people have asked for. And I do have a list upstairs in my notebook, um, but um, sometimes we just can't get them because we just don't have the ability to get them, unfortunately. Uh, are you liking the colored pencils more than paint? No, 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 no. I, I did colored pencils for three decades, you know? Um, I, I got burnt out of colored pencils, so now I like paints so much more. I can do so much more with paints with so much less. You give me 12 colors of paints and I could do anything. You give me 12 colored pencils and I'm screwed, you know? <laughs> so, um, Don't hold back, babe. How feel? Game over, man. Uh, no, it, it's, it's tough. So I, I like the freedom that paints give you. Um, also, your hands don't get tired from painting. Your hands get tired oh, from pushing down so much. You've always had that problem with the color pencils. Your yeah. Hands get tired. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Scott did a video on drawing hands. It's in the Art Hacks playlist. There is a video on Art Block. That's also in the Art Hacks playlist. My teacher definitely doesn't think tracing is a supply. Well, look, take what you can from your teachers, but just know that um, in the real world, in the real world, and I'm not saying your teacher isn't in the real world, but I'm saying instead of in a classroom, in a classroom, what your teacher says goes, learn what you can from them. But in the but real, get yeah, but in the real world, the, the um, real artists are going to always use tracing. They're going to always use rulers. They're going to always use stencils. They're going to use anything they can to get the job done. Yep. So just please understand that, that, that is they're They're probably trying to teach you something. There's a lesson in there somewhere. I'm sure. Um, and, and I don't know. So I, I, I would never say anything bad about your teacher or that they don't know what they're doing. They're, there's, they're probably just trying to teach you a lesson. They're probably trying to teach you you know what? I, I here's here's how I I equate it to. It's probably very similar to a math teacher teaching you to do math rather than using a calculator. In the real world, you're going to use a calculator, but they want you to still learn the the basics of math. And so, if they're saying, "Hey, look, we don't want you to use a stencil or we don't want you to use a ruler," that is just to teach you to the basics, so to speak. It's not going to be something that you're going to use um, in your day-to-day -day life as an artist, but you never know. Um, Scott has made a lot of very cheap drawings with cheap supplies. Go back and check through some of the... Playlists. I made a Crayola mm -hmm. playlist. Yeah. So oh, you can okay. see there all of the Crayola stuff. So there if you, you want to see me uh, do that, you can, you can do that. You can check out um, that um, line art. You guys... You're all asking, numerous people today have been asking, like, how is he so good? And how has he done so much, so many of these things and all this stuff. Guys, you have to remember to please, please, please. There are so many of you who are telling me you're 12, you're 14, you're this or that. Scott is 54 yeah. years old. If you are 14 years old, he has 
40 years of experience on you. Yeah. Please do not compare yourself to someone who has been drawing for 40 but, years. But you know what? The thing is, it is it is a testament. If you think that I'm good in any way, thank you, first of all. But it is a testament to just simply practice. Yes. I have more practice than you. And, and yeah. I want you to know that with enough practice, you, you can be, better be way stuff. better than exactly. me. Because I did not do this full time. I, you know, I've done video games. I've done, I took a whole decade off yep. where I didn't do any art and, and, um, well, at least any traditional art. So it, just please understand that if this is something that you want to do, don't, and I know it's hard to say, don't compare to me because I compare myself to other artists every day. It's, it's pretty much impossible not to compare yourself to other artists. Well, what if they cut themselves some slack? Yeah. Instead? Yeah. And just, just say they haven't had as much practice as you. I mean, exactly. You can't compare yourself to somebody who has four. If you're someone like me, you're like, well, I've had enough practice and I'm still stink. So, you know, that's how I think is, is like, I'm never going to be as good as this person. Yeah, but, guys, look at that. Yeah. But the thing is, is that you guys are still young. You're going to, you're going to learn. Oh, the clock. Hold on. Thank you, Mr. Clock. But you are going to get better. And, and the thing is, is that better is relative. Again, I look at the, the, the artist that I idolize, and I'm like, I'll never get that good. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to perpetually be upset at my work. It's, it's being happy with where you are and being comfortable with where you are. I bet every artist that you idolize, um, every master wishes that they could be as good as the people that they idolized and they never were. But in, in doing so, they've inspired other people too. And so I think just be okay with that. Learn to be okay with where you are in this, in this moment. There are 800. Oh no, that's likes. I'm like, wait, people here right now? there's 537 people here right now. Well, we're so happy that you guys are here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for hanging in there with us. Um, Scott does not have a brother. Um, and he's the one of my animal crackers. Um, he's got a long line of family members who are artistic. And so he picked up a pencil when he was little and had a lot of support. Um, <laughs> 10 more cents. Would you stop? You are killing me. Does your dog disturb your art? Um, not Only really. Home. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm trying to make some art and Donna's not home. She goes crazy because yeah. she's just like, where's mom? Where's mom? Yeah. Where's mom? She's a little obsessed with me. Um, let's see. Donna is not an artist, but I do journal and I also have a travel journal. Um, I mentioned that you have a video on art block. Would you ever consider doing a challenge where you draw the same person every day, only in different art materials? Uh, I actually did that with Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender, and there is a video on that. Did you try to procreate? Uh, I tried to try it, but my <laughs> iPad my iPad is, is uh, from, I think, 2015, oh. and so it wasn't able to, the pen... Uh, that I bought wouldn't work with it. So um, I think I've got to get a, a, a newer iPad, but I just don't want to go and spend the money, that much money for a uh, for that. Um, and we love digital art. And you should check out, if you guys are into digital art, David, if necessary, is one of our mods, and he's here today. And he is a phenomenal digital artist, and he does some great stuff. So check yeah. him out. And if you've got questions, I know... He would be happy to answer your questions. How's that for throwing you under the bus, David? Um, Amant says, thanks for motivating me to start drawing again. And thanks for introducing me to the pigment brush pens. Oh, fantastic. Um, good at doing art like someone else is a hard slog. Good at doing art like you. That's a different story. Yeah, exactly. Like yourself. Um, what are some of your favorite art supplies? I like the Winsor & Newton uh, watercolors. Um, 
I like my zebra brush pen and I love my Be Creative sketchbook. And clearly they want to give me a migraine because they're asking, what's the most expensive art supply in the hospital? <laughs> you guys I, just love to give I think the stuff. most expensive art supply is my my drawing table. You know, I I'm, think I'm that is... I'm going to have to go back to that stupid $12 tape. That, just that is not crazy. most expensive. No, that's the art. These paper. pencils alone were 50 bucks. Yeah, but the Arches paper is like 10, 15 bucks a sheet. Yeah, yeah. Which drives me bananas. Have you ever used watercolor markers? I did. I did a video on watercolor markers and watercolor pencils. We're happy you guys are all here and hanging out. Yeah, thank you guys. And, and thank you for your yeah. patience while Donna was recovering. Yeah. Um, have you ever tried the Tombow dual brush pens? I have. I don't think yeah, I don't have. think I have. Um, I have tried them for journaling. I, you know what? And I, it's so funny. While I was sick this past week, I took a bunch of my my supplies for journaling, and I went. I was basically in my room, and um, I went through a lot of them. And I don't like the jelly jelly roll pens anymore. I don't like the Sakura um, pens anymore, like the little um, fine point ones for writing. I don't like a lot of things anymore, and I just decided that I there are just some things. Thankfully, I wasn't on the cut list. He was not on the cut list. I don't he like my not. husband anymore. I, I, well, I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> having having a little time by myself with just the dog to do some journaling was very nice. Um, There's going to be some changes around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So I've funny. had some time to think. No, I had a lot of time to think. Do you think you will ever release your own blow dryer? Oh my God, you guys are so. <laughs> we have stickers. That yeah, we've got the stickers. I think that's as far as I'm going to get. Stick that on your blow dryer. How's that? How, oh, um, he does edit his own videos. And yeah. how much time does it take you to edit the videos? I spend more time editing the videos than I actually do making the art. So, probably about two hours. Sometimes longer if you can't figure out what to say. Yeah. Or if he has to change his shirt three times. Well, that's the recording part. The editing part, yeah, usually I put a lot of work into the edits. And I, and I try to put a lot of work into making sure that all of the captionings are good and, and all of that. So, How do you recommend I grow my small art channel? This is for the VSC. Con consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency is the best thing. Find something that you want to do every day. I try to post at least five times a day. A week. Yeah, sorry, five times a week. <laughs> sorry. Uh, You're going to freak everybody out. Sorry, I'm doing multiple things at a time. Um, yeah, so to, to try to do that, and then um, you'll you'll find your niche. Uh, I, I definitely, um, it took me God, a couple years of doing like TikToks and stuff till I finally oh, yeah. found, found something, but um, yeah. You know, listen to people. Uh, it was actually Santa who, uh, yeah. Santa J. Claus, who encouraged me to get mm -hmm. in front of the camera because yeah. I was just not comfortable being in front of the camera. And uh, so he encouraged me to do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Good morning. Good morning. I do very hard drawing and sketching, and it takes about two hours to make. I never um, get how to get the right colors to mix to get a specific tone. Do you have any tips? It depends on the medium. If you're talking about colored pencils, um, I mean, I've only got a few colors here, and I'm trying my best to find uh, the right tones and mediums, but a lot of it is just experimentation. Okay, so you guys see how he keeps the pencils he's working with right now in one hand, and he's drawing with the other hand? I've been watching this for 30 years. I haven't done it in no, but, 20, but yeah. No, but you've always got something in your non-dominant hand. So if you're painting, you've got a paper towel in your other yeah, hand. Yeah. If you're colored pencils, you've got extra pencils in that hand. And it's just, it's so cute. I this is I've been watching this for so long. It's just like it's like that old shoe. It's just comfortable. It's like, oh, look, he's got colored pencils in his hand again. You hear that, everybody? I'm an old shoe. He's an old shoe. Well, you are. You've been married 30 years. What more do you expect? Come on. 
I like old shoes. They're comfortable. All right, let's get that hair in. I think that'll oh, bring everything God. together. Almost as comfortable as an old sweatshirt. I should really call you my old sweatshirt. That's what I'm going to call you, my old sweatshirt. All right, I'm going to use these blues and greens to get some of these what darks. What are some good pencils I could start with for cheap? Oh, uh, ones, right? Yeah, where did, I, where did I put those? I have no idea. Okay, right here. Um, there's a there's a video on it. There's also a link on our products tested site, but these oh, are yeah. good for. Those are, they were twenty seven ninety nine for seventy two colored pencils. That's and cheap, and they're better than the um, than the Crayola, Crayola ones. Mm -hmm. Um, if you go back through, there's a video on how we made the Hobbit hole. And by we, I do not mean me. I did not do anything down here. Um, how much art do you save compared to art you throw out or give away? Oh, um, I, there's only a handful of pieces that I save for myself. Um, so, there's a couple of no, the top, the, the top drawer is the one that I keep. Yeah. And so there's... Uh, I would say maybe one out of every 30 or 40 pieces I might keep, if you've that. Pretty, you've sold a lot this past Yeah, year, so. it's like like I kept the first uh, day of October, um, you know, the octopus. I kept that one for myself. I got uh, October, too. Yeah, but... Uh, is, that's the perk of being the wife of the artist. Yeah, she gets to <laughs> snag the ones, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for the most part, everything you see, I will either sell or give away. Um, you can show us your art by tagging us. Probably the best place though is the, um, is the discord. Um, who are you drawing right now? This is a guy named Paul McCartney from 1970. He was one of the members of a group called the Beatles. Well, not everybody knows them. Uh, okay. Um, right now the paper you are using is? This is a uh, Strathmore's uh bristol paper mm -hmm. and it is not in a sketchbook right now this is just a pad the pad of paper mm -hmm. that he'll, he'll, he'll i actually am drawing on the last page so that way the pencils i want you guys to see this Can you guys see that okay? Yeah, let me see the back of it. Can you oh, see the yeah. Can you see the bumps? Yeah. Yeah. So that would all get pushed onto the uh, the page, the previous page. Now I don't know if you guys can see this, but can you see the bumps in the prism color? Very, very faintly. There's not a lot of bumps in the prism color. But you can see the ones for the... Um, oh, yeah. So this is the harder pencil. This is the Faber-Castle. This is the prism color. And then this is the um, the Caran d'Ache, which is very, very... I'm not having to push down a lot. But you can see I almost pushed all the way through yeah. on the, um, the Faber-Castles because they're so hard. Okay, um, let's see. What's your favorite movie that you didn't make? The Princess Bride. Uh, yes, I am better. You do anything to prevent your hand from rubbing on the paper and drawing. He yes. put that paper down. This paper here? Yeah. So I keep that here and that, can you guys see it okay? Is it... Yes, okay. you can see it okay. It's in the middle of the screen, thank you. Um, Scott's made about 15 or 16 graphic novels. Those are on our, um, I think they're in the art supplies section or they're somewhere on the website. Um, the books that he's made. Um, let's see. Everyone starts somewhere. That is correct. Let's see. How do you feel about these colored pencils right now? I, I'm saying so far they're my favorite. Nike is public re publicly releasing the Sada shoe for 500 tubes of Payne's Gray. <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. You guys are funny. Is Animal Crackers the only film you will do? We are hoping not. Um, as I'm sure all of you who've been here with us for the last however many months of our lives um, have heard me say, we are still waiting for our funding. Yay. 
Um, this is how it goes with funding. Um, stuff happens and this is just the way it is. Um, so sometimes you wait and sometimes you... But in the meanwhile, this is a great way to... Yeah, this has been really We fun. really enjoyed working with you and, and, and YouTube has been yep. so nice to us. Yeah, YouTube's and, been amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, have you ever been introduced to bagpipe music? Uh, yes. My friend Bear McCreary loves bagpipes. And Why he like the he loves bagpipes more. Really? Yeah, and the hurdy gurdy. That's the accordion. No. Yeah, the it's it? it's accordion like, but oh. it is a hurdy gurdy, and if you called it an accordion to him, he'd be very oh, upset he, at you. Oh, okay. If you get a chance to go to on YouTube and Google bagpipes bear McCreary and you'll see what a geek he is. What do you need to start an art YouTube channel? A uh, pencil, paper, and a uh, phone. Mm -hmm. What watercolor paper do you recommend? Uh, for my daily, I use Canson XL watercolor paper. It's cheap and uh, pretty sturdy. For my um, sketching, I use Be Creative watercolor sketchbook. Move that paper. This one. Yeah, cover the other. And um, and for my uh, like, if I'm going to do like a really, really, really nice art piece, I will use uh, Arches 100% cotton paper. Mm -hmm. um, how are you guys doing? We're doing very good, Floof. Thank you. It's day, what is it, day four of the new year, so. Day, day two of Donna feeling better. Yes, finally, thank goodness, yeah. Um, our dog is um, 11 years old, and um, boy, howdy, she's an old lady and she's a pickle, so she, yeah. uh, and she's very attached to me. And she's, she has a heart condition now, and so she knows who gives her her medicine and takes care of her and all that kind of stuff. That's the mommy, so. Um, that's why she's so attached to me. So if I'm outside of her visual range, she goes looking for her. Yeah. It's kind and of if funny. Donna, heaven forbid, left for um, whatever reason. She, if I go to the grocery store, she freaks She out. barks her full head she off. She freaks out. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of funny. Um, Scott does not enjoy self-portraits, so he will not probably do a self-portrait. Um, I can't imagine you would ever paint miniatures. Honey, you better put that paper there. You're going to smudge. That's fine. It's fine. Ringo can handle it. Mm -hmm. um, would you ever paint miniatures? I just don't feel like you would do that. I don't know. You never know. I never say never, right? Except your eyes are bad. How would you do that? You have to have like a magnifying thing. I'm just saying. This from the woman who can't give the dog her pills unless she has her glasses on because she can't see the pill bottles. I had um, 50 good years of eyes, so I can't complain. Dude, I only have 25, so I don't want to hear it. Um, let's what else do you guys want to know today? Do you do any poetry visualization? Not really. I do like to write, but my writing is more screenplay-ish, comic books, things like that. I, I'm more story. Um, oh, Scott's drawn Mark Hamill so many times. He's done Star Wars so Yeah. Um, our dog is a rescue, so she is a mutt. They say she's a beagle and a Jack Russell, but we don't really know. And we've had her since she was eight months old. So she's the baby daughter I didn't have. Um, favorite media of art? I, I I like to work in watercolors, I think, is my current favorite. Any good tips for getting through a big artist block? Yeah, I, I got a video on that. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, get out and see other people's art. That usually helps me. What paper should I use for Prismacolor colored pencils? I like Bristol board. That's what I'm using right now. Bristol paper from Strathmore. But different people like different <laughs> things. So keep that in mind. There's no right or wrong. Um, what do you think if you become a next Picasso after you are long gone? I won't well, know. let's hope uh, that our kids can sell his artwork for a ton of money. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're already gone. I don't, I don't think my work is unique enough uh, for anybody to 
put it in a museum or anything like that. I mean, you don't see, I, I, I appreciate when people say, you know, equate me to like a Bob Ross. Um, you don't see Bob Ross's art in any galleries, you know, um, it's, it, my work is nothing special. Uh, and I am okay with that. My work is my work. What characters from Umbrella Academy have you done? All of them. And I made an Umbrella Academy playlist yesterday. Oh, did you? I did, because enough people were asking me to draw. I was like, I did. <laughs> Who's the most famous person you've met through your art career? Through my art career? Well, uh, Drew Struzan. No, that was through the film, too. Um, I don't think I met any famous people through my art career. Uh, but through the, the movie career, mm -hmm. I got to work with a lot of people and met a lot of people. Scott's done a lot of the characters from Stranger Things already. Uh, Donna draws stick people, uh, and that's about it. But I like to journal, and I love a good fountain pen. All right. Well, I, I am going to – let's see. We are, Oh, we still got 10 more minutes. That's good. I don't think I could finish this in time, but we're getting pretty close. Not bad for 90 minutes. Um, how do you sell your art? Would it be best to start somewhere like Etsy or would it be best to build a website? Okay, so we start. We were selling on Etsy for a long time. Um, and um, it's a good place to start if you're like brand new at it and you don't know what you're doing. They take care of everything on the back end. However, their fees have gone up considerably. So you might want to look into something like um, we're hosted on Wix.com right now. And the pricing is very reasonable. Okay. Before you even think about that, though, just please understand that before you start worrying about selling your art, build your audience first. You really I, – I, I didn't sell much art for 50-something years. Yes. And and um, it, it you have to find your audience. you got to find the people who like the weird stuff you do. You know, just like I had to find people who like the weird stuff I do. So find your audience first. That's the first thing. So build up your audience, find people who like the same goofy stuff you do, and then you could worry about selling your art. Um, have you ever thought of doing a competition where the winner gets a piece of art drawn by you? I think that would be awesome. I don't um, think you would want to. I don't like that. competitions, yeah. but I have just given away a lot of art. I mean, we just gave away like what fifty pieces for the million. Yeah, when million. we when we hit a million, we just um, you can call it a competition, but it wasn't. It was just a like a raffle. What do you want to call your fans? Like a nickname, maybe. <sighs> um, well, when I had uh, when I was doing the Dreamland Chronicles, we would call them fellow dreamers. Uh, so you can call you guys fellow hobbits or Shire folk. How do you get a good base sketch with good proportions? Um, you you got to look at the, the the shapes. Everything is broken down into shapes. So once you get used to doing that, then you know you you can figure that out. And if you're having trouble, that's why I say uh, if you're having trouble with that, then you go ahead and you start tracing to get the the proportions right. Um, um, is art your full-time job? It is currently. It wasn't, I mean, this is the first time in, in our lives that it has yeah, been, right? Yeah, 30 years. Yeah. He's never been able to make a, a good run at just living on Yeah, it's art. always been, <clears throat> it's always been um, animation, video games, mm -hmm. something else. This is the first time in our entire lives that Art has been. Actually paid the bills. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of nice, though. I mean, it's nice that people like your work. It's but nice that, that, that come here and draw yeah, them. I mean, but you know, we've got almost a million followers on TikTok. Pays nothing. Yeah, uh, sucks. You know, we've got over a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. We've got a hundred thousand followers on um, Snapchat. Mm -hmm. it, they don't pay. Yeah. So uh, it, it's it's YouTube is where you know they're they're providing us with support. They're providing us with um, 
income and and a, a means to make a living at it and that is really amazing so you know it, this is a first for us it is I would have loved for something like this to have been around when I was in my 20s. Uh, it's just the evolution. Yeah, it's yeah. A lot of things evolve. Um, what's your favorite activity outside of art? I like playing games. Um, why are you using the brush? Oh, the brush. You see these little sure. pieces of, uh, of pencils. I just get rid of them so that way um, I can see stuff a little better. What is your favorite art piece that you've done? Uh, probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Oh, hmm. I have not been on the computer this much. Let's see. What's the most androgynous piece you've ever done? The most androgynous piece I've done. Um, God, I, I mean, we did a, a, a few different androgynous things. Um, we did, um, uh, in the hair journal, we did uh, transgender, we did uh, uh, non-binary, yes. we did um, we did a bunch of those in the hair journal. So I, I'd probably say it'd probably be in the hair journal. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the best mixed media art book is? I don't. I don't. Uh, st the 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 one I'm working in right now is really good for <laughs> dry media like uh, markers and pencils and whatnot. But I think once you get into stuff that's like watercolor, you really need specifically watercolor paper for watercolor. So, but mixed media could just be like markers and colored pencils, in which case I would say what I'm using right now, which is the Strathmore. Uh, uh, we are trying to make another film for sure. Can't uh, give you any details on that yet because we don't know which one that's in. Um, a couple of people have watched Animal Crackers. Oh, I hope you liked it. What's your advice on color theory, like choosing your colors to go together and whatnot? I wish I could tell you. I, I don't have one. And um, I, I'm, um, yeah, I slept through color theory. So I, I you slept through art history. I slept through a lot of a lot of my classes. As soon as they they used to put on slideshows, and as soon as they do that, I'm gone. I'm out. I'm asleep. Uh, but um, yeah. These are not Prisma colors. These are Karan Dosh pencils. How many sketchbooks do you have? Do you have any old art to show your growth through the years? There's a video yeah. on that. Scott's art through the years. Um, but he has so many sketchbooks. I think the video title is called Watch My Art Grow Over 40 Years. Do you draw any non-portraits or do I just not watch enough of your videos? Um, no, I do. In, in my travel journal, uh, I draw a lot of places and animals and, you know, whatever uh, I can. Uh, I will draw things like, um, you know, ketchup bottles or whatever's in front of me. Uh, so, you know. Shakers. Yeah, when we went to Venice, I drew pizza, mm -hmm. you know, and my broken glasses. And, and yeah, that was fun. Um, I was the lucky one who used to buy those comics. That's this time warrior. Aw, that's so sweet. Um, let's see. Have you thought about doing more Star Wars art? Every once in a while, yeah. Um, okay, so there's an art supply list um, in. Um, Okay, Dom is shutting down. My brain is self working. This is the most I've had to think in like a week. Um, on the website, on SL Art, there's an art supply list. Um, and so. Under resources. That's all the, yeah, that's all the supplies that Scott uses. Those are his favorites. If so you want to see the products I'm trying, there's right, a video. The yeah, there's a, a mm -hmm. resources for that too. The pencils he's using right now are the Coran Dosh pencils. These are the most expensive pencils I've ever tried hey, and they're really yeah. nice. Hey Richard. Do you want to change anything about your art in the future and do you listen to music when you make art? I do listen to music and I'm constantly trying to change my art every day. Um, I've been trying to get my work to be less photorealistic and more stylistic but to do that I have to be more cartoony or, or more caricature or something. And, and it just takes time and I'm not putting much time into it. And so I think 
for now, just because it makes me happy is I just draw what I see and I try to be a little more artsy with my uh, watercolors. Um, they want to buy the watercolor set. Do they have, did they ship to Germany? I don't, don't know. No, you would have to go on the grabby site and check and see if they ship to Germany. I don't remember. Scott started doing art when he was about six or seven. Yeah. There's been so many times that he's wanted to quit art. I mean, like, I can't even tell you so many times he kind of throws his hands up or throws his stuff yeah. down and goes, I'm done. That's it. Um, there should be tips on lighting and adding shadows in the art hacks playlist. You can check that out on faces and things like that. Um, our movie that we did was called animal crackers. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Is a blow dryer a must when using watercolor or gouache? No, not a must. It's just you're going to be sitting around waiting. It's just if you're if you're a patient person or you want to just paint for a little bit and get up and walk around, you can go do that. But you just – I'm not a patient person. Um, have you done Hunger Games art? No. Okay, people are asking. We people. have been asked quite a few times, yeah. Um, he was using Strathmore uh, Bristol board. Bristol paper, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, no plan on anything he's drawing in the future past this fourth beetle. Um, I can tell you guys, he doesn't plan ahead. Um, what's your favorite board or card game? Um, gosh, Persian Rummy. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh... My, my mom and I have been playing, it's a like a domino type game. We've been playing a game called Ruma Cube Ugh. while she's here. That's kind of fun. Um, Scott is not using crayons. He's using the Karandash colored pencils. Um, how are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised at how well this piece came out, considering I only had 20 colors. So, um, tips for an aspiring animator. I have always been fascinated by animation. One day I'm hoping to work for a professional. Uh, yes. As a former animator, your biggest asset is going to be how uh, well you can act. It's all about performance. And, uh, you're not, it's not like the old days where you had to learn to draw. Um, you just need to learn how to act. And so, if you're going to get a job, it's going to be based on your reel, and your reel is going to be based on how well your characters act. And uh, so study acting, study performance, and um, I think that'll help you. Are you watching any anime right now? No, I haven't watched anime in decades. Um, the color pencils are Karan Dosh color pencils? Karan Dosh, yes, and they're really good. Yeah, where I live, the pencils you're using cost like eight dollars a piece. Yeah. Wow. You just are gonna have to find um, what works for you. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, the Artex yeah. ones are cheap if you can get those if you're looking for cheap. But um, they they um, they aren't as good as Prismacolor, which aren't as good as. Um, I don't know. I I I don't want to put judgment and say that these are better, but I'm really enjoying them. Um, the reason Scott uses the blow dryer is so you guys don't have to watch paint dry. Can gouache do everything that watercolor can do? Um, yeah, yeah, it can. It's 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 um, you just have to run more. You know, um, it's it's opaque. So you, if you want to make it as thin as watercolor, you'd have to just use a lot of um, water. Um, let's see. Um, we have a section on our website. Um, where you can download some of Scott's black and white drawings. I'm sure if you just Google coloring pages, those will come up and you can print those out. Um, a lot of people are buying the pens that you're, you use, though. The zebra brush pens? Mm -hmm. Oh, those are good. Them. Yeah, they're, they're a game changer for me. They work for sure. Um, let's see. Big fan of your artwork from India. Oh, thank you. Where do you get these drawing ideas? I ask that every day. Will this be available on your store? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to keep this piece. 
Mechanical or traditional pencils? I like tr traditional, but there's no right or wrong. It's just personal preference. Favorite place to travel to create artwork? Park, cafe, library. Uh, museum. Scott has drawn so many Harry Potter characters. Yeah, there's yeah. there's videos on all of the Harry Car yeah. Harry Potter characters. Yeah. I draw cartoons, but I want to draw realistic like you. I don't know um, how. So how did you start drawing realistic? Oh, I just. Um, you get a photo and you copy it. It, it. Drawing realistically is the least creative thing you can do. Uh, cartoon, you're interpreting something into a style. And I think that's, that's amazing. Um, I'm trying to get away from it because it feels very... Um, I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of, but it, it feels very, I want to say pedestrian, you know? Uh, but you can... you. What, if you're doing cartoons, you're you're doing something that isn't there. You're taking something and you're stylizing it, and I I love that. Um, what pencil sharpener do you use? Um, I don't know if we have it in the thing, but I'm using an Exacto electric pencil sharpener. Uh, we have the Okuhu markers on um, order. Yes, they're coming. Um. What type of pencil do you recommend for sketching? Um, well, I, I, just a number two pencil is fine if you're going to be painting over it. If you're just doodling, I like the Prismacolor uh, Black Cherry pencil. That's that's the one I like. Oh my God, you guys have so many questions that keep coming in. Um, what's your current? What's your advice for current students majoring in art? Um, don't fall asleep during class like I did. Um, how long was your longest piece of art? And can you give me any tips on colored pencils, please? Uh, there's a video on the colored pencils. Uh, but uh, my longest piece was the Animal Crackers movie poster. And that took me... 14 weeks. It took me several weeks, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, commissions are closed right now because Scott's got other projects that he's working on. Um, the, some of the movie, um, paying movie projects. And he just doesn't have time for commissions right now. Uh, it's 1030 in the morning for us. Which means we've got to get going. Mm -hmm. um, tips on copying a face in graphite pencils from a black and white blurred picture. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's better if it's a sharper. Trace picture. it if you can. And um, if not, then... Uh, you know, try the grid method or something like that. Is the Strathmore paper vellum or smooth? Uh, it's smooth. Um, have you done any Big Bang Theory art? I have not. He's been painting with watercolor for about 12 years? Well, it's 2023. It's been... 12 years? 10 years. 13 years. I think I started in 2010. Yeah, so 13 years. Okay. Um, let's... See, I only have Derwent color pencils and basic cheap watercolors. What's the best genre of art do you recommend? Um, the best genre or the best medium? The best genre. Yeah, the best genre, you know, could be anything. It could be uh, Art Nouveau. It could be um, Pre-Raphaelite. I mean, that that's a personal taste yeah, kind of thing. Uh, best, if you, if you meant medium, I think watercolors is definitely the cheapest and most artistic one that you could do. So, as I keep telling you, he just plucks these drawing ideas out of the air. And he'll go, Hey, I feel like doing this today. J really? Well, okay. First of all, this came about from a lot of you saying, You should try Karen Dosh. You should try Faber Castle. That did. So, but the concept of what you're doing is what well, are always asking. Uh, and I will How say, did you pick the Beatles? The draw? reason why I picked the Beatles was because the uh youtube sent me abbey road it's it's Which just is my whole point oh my god abbey road and that sparked you to think about oh let me draw the beetles look i have all these colored pencils let me i've got four beetles i can try a different colored pencil with each beetle how could it not though it's and so obvious for some people it doesn't spark that way it doesn't spark stuff like that way for me well maybe more people need to send you abbey road <laughs> 
Please don't send me any Beatles, anything. Scott loves the Beatles. I tolerate the Beatles. They're not my favorite. Um, what art supplies go well with Artex pencils? Artex pencil. Oh, um, I would use the the Bristol board for that as well. Um, how do you start drawing realistically? I, like I was saying, realistically is very easy. You just find a photo and copy it. It's, there's not much to drawing realistically. It's it's drawing uh, surrealistically that is challenging and fun. And that's... Okay. So when you guys ask, the reason we do these lives and the reason we try these different products um, is so you guys can see what they look like. So when you ask what's the best brand of colored pencil, that's going to be a subjective question. That can tell you the hardness of the pencil. He can tell you how they blend. He can I tell can tell you what I like. Exactly. But you're going to have to try it. Like, he'll tell you which ones are smooth and hard and which ones... Break it's like saying, sweet. you know, what's the best type of pizza or what's exactly. what's your favorite food, uh, you know, yeah. um, or, or, you know, what what brand of jeans are the best? Exactly. Uh, these are these are very specific to your own personal taste. So that's why what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to say these feel a little softer. These blend really well. These do this and these do that. But it's really very, very subjective. I've yeah. seen people make art with spray paint and with, you know, uh, Posca pens and I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy it. You know, look at, look at black beans work with, um, um, uh, oil pastels and I stink at oil pastels. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, am... so can you guys see? We can see the top two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can see how much I was struggling with the fabric castles and uh, and and with only 20 colors, I think uh, Paul really came out well. It know? looks very smooth. It's very it's smooth. Very, it just like, blends smooth. really, really nicely. Yeah. And well, you uh, noodled that one a lot. It's 90 minutes. It's not a lot. It's the um, same amount of time. Hi, sent you a tip and said, thank you so much for introducing me to watercolors. Oh, thank you. The reference photo is not printed out. It is on a tablet. Here you go. Santa says, amazing. Oh, thank you, Santa. There are videos um, that Scott has done about layering and working with watercolors specifically. Um, so you can check those out. All right. We will see you all on Friday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do this on my own, but, uh, we will play around with some colored pencils. I don't know. I'll figure out what we're going to do on Friday, but, uh, yeah. Have you drawn something from Queen? Yeah. I've drawn yeah, Freddie Mercury a few times. Um, okay guys. So, um, my favorite journaling supplies are the Archer and all of notebooks and a fountain pen. Um, to, um, do that. And, um, yeah, so we're going to see you guys on, what day is it? Is it Wednesday? Uh, yeah, yeah, Friday. Okay. So we'll see you guys on Friday. And um, thanks for being here with us today. And thanks for um, letting us take a little time off to heal and feel better. And, and I will post a video on this later today. So there you go. All right, guys. Have a great Have a great day. And we will talk to you on Friday. Have a good one, guys.